everybody, this is Maria with SweetSerenityStamping.com and today I have for you something different. Um, it's not a box. Hey, look at that. Um, this is actually a card that I put together. A very large card, but it's the standard um, larger cards that you cards that you buy in, you know, your um, local card stores or your grocery stores. So this is not like the, you know, four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half, those kind of cards. This is an actual size card that you would purchase in a store. Um, and I am calling this my Crazy About You card. And as you can see, my little sentiment there says Happy Mother's Day. I know this is a kind of um, early for Mother's Day, but when I was putting this card together, um, I just thought of my mother. I thought she would love this card. Um, it's very beautiful. Um, and so I decided to make it a happy uh, Mother's Day card. Um, today I will ma be making a happy birthday, um, the same exact card, but using the Wisteria Wonder. This is Lost Lagoon um, that I have stamped with. And look, at I even put pearls right here on all of the flowers that I used. And I put an extra one here. And I think this absolutely came out beautiful. Of course, you know, you want to put... Uh, a sentiment in here for your mom or whatever card you plan on choosing to make. Um, but I absolutely love this card and the way it turned out. So let me show you how I did it. Now the reason why I called it Crazy About You card is because of this beautiful stamp set called Crazy About You. And everything that I made this card with is in this stamp set. So they have some really um, cool phrases that you can pick out and that you put them together like Happy Easter, as you can see, um, or like, um, let's see, thanks so much, you can see right there. So basically you just put these together and make your own little sentence. And then it comes with two little flowers and then some leaves. And this is a great, great set. I absolutely love this. Um, this is out of the new uh, Spring 2015 catalog. Um, and we still have going on right now... Um, where every fifty dollars that you purchase you get something free so um, just go to sweetsrainystamping.com and there's information about that on my blog and you can read all about that but every fifty dollars that you spend you get something free and it's it's, it's amazing that they would do that for us um, so um, it's there till March uh, 31st so go take a look and see what you can purchase um, some great things over there. So this is what we're going to use today and I'm just going to briefly tell you what I did. So this is one of the stamps that I used. Of course it came out of that. Um, All About You stamp set. And then there is the leaf I used. So basically I just took my Lost Lagoon ink. Excuse me, I didn't mean to throw that across the screen. Uh, I used my Lost La Lagoon ink stamped you know, put it on here. Look at that, it sticks together. I love these photopolymer stamps. They're fantastic. But you just stamp, you know, stamp in your ink and stamp randomly on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I did the same thing that I, um, with the leaf. So I just put it on my block and I randomly stamped. That's how I got this image here. Um, so that's all basically what we had to do or what I did to make this beautiful card. I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make um, basically the same one. Um, but I've already stamped because of my videos seem to run a little bit long. So I went ahead and pre-stamped everything. But that's all you do for that stamping. Um, and so let me go ahead and give you some measurements on what I used. Now this is a piece of Whisper White. This is cut at seven and a half by eleven, so you will need a twelve by twelve sheet of Whisper White. Um, and and I went ahead and I scored it down the middle at the five and one half inch. And I hope you can see that. It looks like it's blurry to me on my screen, uh, but it's very bright outside today, so I think I'm getting a little bit of a reflection. So, on the eleven inch side, you want to score at the five and a half. That will be your middle. So. Um, I already went ahead and did that, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold this card, okay? Actually, I like to fold it this way so I don't get a bad outside crease. So just fold it and then just kind of give it a little um, crease. So that is the base of our card. 
So the next one that we need is a piece of Wisteria Wonder, and I love Wisteria Wonder. It is this lightish color purple, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this piece here is a 5 by 7 so cut a 5 by 7 that will be placed on top of this card here. And then I went ahead and, like I said, randomly stamped. And however you want to do it, you don't even have to use this flower. You can use the other flower if you wanted to do that. Uh, it's totally up to you. But look at, how, look at that from the stamp set. Look at that card. Gorgeous. So I just randomly went ahead with my Wisteria Wonder. That I have right here, I do, like I said, I love Wisteria Wonder. It's a beautiful color. And this sheet of Whisper White is six and three quarters by four and three quarters. So six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And that is what I did all of my stamping on. Like I said, randomly stamped. And I try to use as much of this paper as possible. I could have probably even right there had maybe added a leaf. Um, but I'm not going to be that particular. So this will go on top of here. So we will be forming our card. So we need a couple more things. Now we still need some more Whisper White. Just a piece of scrap paper. I went ahead and cut out another um, of the flowers. And I just kind of fussy cut around it. So I kind of made it to look like there's a little white border. And we will be using that right there. And then we will also need another piece of Whisper White. Um, this is at one, by one inch by four inches, and then I just cut in with my scissors. You know, I, you probably see me do this before, but I just cut in the middle, and then I went from one side to the other side and made that kind of a little banner there. And then I took my sponge and I dipped it in my Whisper White or my Wisteria Wonder. And I just sponged the sides up just a little bit to give that a little bit of color. You can probably see that right there. Okay, so that's how I did that piece. And then this piece will go underneath this one here. Okay, and I went ahead and I backed this piece with some dimensionals. This piece is piece of Wisteria Wonder is one and a half by four and a half. And this will be laying on top of here. And that is where we will put this like so. So let's go ahead and put this together. So like I said, here is the base of my card. Okay, we can just set that to the side. I'm going to get my Wisteria Wonder. Okay, and then the one I just stamped all over. And I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to give this um, some tape. So if you get this attached to the top of our card. Okay, so there we go on that. And then just kind of give this, you know, just center it as best as you can. Um, I hate it when I don't get things centered real even, but I do the best I can. <laughs> that wasn't bad, actually. That was pretty good. So the next thing I want to do, we are going to do a little bit of stamping. And let's go ahead and take that little piece of Whisper White. And this one, like I said, I'm going to make it as an, a happy birthday card. And like I said, you can get that also through this because there is happy and birthday is right there. So you can do so many different things with just this stamp set. It's amazing. So I got my block and I have my happy birthday on there. And I'm going to get out my Wisteria Wonder and give this a little stamp. And it doesn't take much ink. For this, for these poly photopolymer stamps, it really doesn't take much. In fact, I can't even see if I have any on my stamp. Um, so we're just going to go with it <laughs> because I, I can't really tell. Um, so I'm going to kind of line this up, place it on there, press it down a little bit, and lift up. And of course, there it is. And like I said, you can't barely tell when you do the wording with how much, as far as how much, um, especially with the light colors, as to how much ink you have on there. So just tap it a few times and it pretty much should be just be fine. So I'm going to set that back over here. And now what I want to do is I want to get some more of my snail. I'm going to give this some uh, tape here so we can get this glued on to here. And like I said, do, I'm going to do it this way because I can do it better this way. Um, I can kind of line it up a little bit better. To get it kind of even and kind of work it so that you make sure I'm very 
like I said, very picky, but I can't get my things on straight, and this didn't go on real straight, so I'm going to try to move it just a tad over this way, and I will feel much better about it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do. Plus, I had dimensionals on underneath that, so it was a little bit harder for me to do, but that didn't turn out so bad. I think it turned out pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead... And before I add anything to the top of this card, I want to go ahead and put some snail on the back of this so I can attach it to my card base. Um, because it's much easier if you do it now. And of course I ran out of snail. Wouldn't you know? Because I didn't check it before my video. So I don't have I don't have time to actually don't have another snail handy with me. So I'm just gonna use my ATG gun just because it's sitting right here. And we need to move on with this video. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun. Um, I usually, I didn't think I was that low on my snail. But I am prepared, even though it is with my ATG gun. We are going to get this card done. <laughs> so you can either open this card. It depends. Some people open the card and lay it down there. Some people leave the card like this and do that. It's totally up to you and how you feel comfortable with. I'm just going to center this on here. Um, let me see, a little bit up this way, there we go, and the next thing I want to do, I already have this attached, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just, I've got a lot of dimensionals, as you can tell, there are some dimensionals on here, we have all these supplies that's stamping up, so if you don't have the dimensionals, um, I will, you know how I do, I link all my supplies at the bottom of the video, and you just click on one of those and it'll take you to the shop. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to place this somewhere around, I want to show a little bit at the end of this card, a little bit of that flower. Okay, so there we go. And you can move this higher, you can move it lower, however you choose. Um, and here is my extra one, our extra flower that I cut out. And I'm going to place that on top of here. Okay, so now we have this going. And the next thing I want to do is I want to get my pearls. And I think the pearls just add so much to this card. I think it just turns out beautiful. I'm using the biggest pearls that we have. And I'm sitting one in the middle. And then wherever else I have these exposed at, the little flowers, I'm going to put a pearl in the center. Okay, and I have one more at the top, and this I think adds, uh, got away from me, adds so much to the cards when you add a little bit of details, a pearl, a rhinestone, it just adds so much more to the cards. So, uh, basically, that's it. These, look at that, Isn't, didn't that turn out beautiful? Absolutely love it. So, there you go, guys. These, this is my project for today. Don't forget to open up the insides and put such a beautiful sentiment to somebody, you know, for a birthday and a Mother's Day card. So this is what my mom's getting for Mother's Day. Um, but that's my project for today. And today is Friday. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Saturday and it's Valentine's Day. So I wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. And I hope they do something special with one of their loved ones or your spouses. I think Valentine's Day is one of those days of the year that we get to say, I love you. Um, if you don't say it every day, I tell my husband every night and he tells me every morning that we, he loves me. So um, for people who don't always do that, uh, Valentine's Day is the best day to tell somebody that you care about them. So anyways, I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. Thank you for spending some time with me today and let me show you how to make this project. Give it a try. It's absolutely awesome. If you do me a great big favor, um, if you would go to SweetSerenityStamping.com and if you go to the right hand side, there's a join the site, put your email in there, hit that button and you will stay with me for all of my up and coming projects. At the bottom of this video will be a supply list. You just click on one of those and it'll take you right to the shop button and you can get the supplies that you need to make this beautiful card. And you can also shop from the very top of my blog. It has a shop button. Just click on that and it'll also take you to get these great supplies. So anyways, I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everybody.